Hello, welcome to TechShare Myth. In a previous session, we learned about a way through which we can read the physical file data with the help of star high will and star low will. In this session, we will see the same process but, but with different way. Like here we will uh, try to access the file data with the help of some uh, key value. And also we will uh, look into the way through which we can access the file data for a specific key ID. Okay. So here I have created the program. So let's go through the program. So as usual, we are writing the code in fully from free format and we have set the control option as no debug IO and SRSTMT. Now below to that, I have declared one physical file with the help of DCLF keyword. And this is my physical file name emppf one and users. I am using it for input mode only. So that's why I have specified star input. And this is a keyed file, so I have written keyed here. Now, below to that, we have declared some variables. So, mainly we have declared only one variable that is key value, in which we will store some key value and then we will try to access the data on the basis of that key value. Okay, so before we see the further lines, let me show you the data that we have in the physical file. So, in the separate session, I have run this query select the start from emppf1 and this is the data that we have in our physical file in our last session also we use the same data so now what we are trying to do we are trying to read the data but from a specific value suppose i just want to read the data from third value not from the one or not from the uh, sixth okay so i just want to start from third value so what we will do we will use key value here so in key value variable i will put directly the value which through which I want to access the data then in set ll instead of uh, star low l and star high l you can directly pass that variable so what it will do it will read the data from that particular value and below to that we are just simply uh, using the read opcode in the emppf1 file and we are running one loop till the end of file and then uh, we are just displaying the record emp id and emp name and inside the loop for uh, reading the data from next for the next record we are uh, using the read opcode again with the emppf1 so once the file is ended it will directly came out of the out and do loop and it will set the star inlr request to star on so let's compile and see whether we are getting the correct output from id3 or not so we got the id3 the name Okay, and likewise, it will return the, all the data from ID three to ID six. Fine. So this is the one way. Now suppose I want to uh, here we see that it returns only the uh, it returns the data after the third value. But suppose now I want to fetch only the data which has employee ID as two. So here you can see that we have multiple record with two employee ID. So we will fetch all those ID, uh, the, all those record which has the employee ID as two. So how to do this? So same thing we will do here in key value we will pass two, and we will set the pointer with the key value. But instead of read opcode, we will use read e opcode. So read e means read equals. So whenever you are using read e opcode, you have to pass that key value. Uh, for which it will check whether it, the value is equal or not and then it will read the data so here i'm passing that parameter as key value okay so i have passed it key value and similarly here also we will change because to read the next record so read e key value okay so Make sure that whenever you are using read e, you have to pass that key value uh, because then only it will check the value and compare the value whether it is equal to that or not. If it is equal to, then it will fetch out the data, otherwise, it will move to the next record. So, these are the only changes we need to do. Now, I will compile it again and we will see like we are getting only the um, records which has having the ID employee ID as two. So, calling it. So it returns the first record as Abhishek Kumar, second record as Prashant, and third record as Karthik. Then another is Tarun. So which is correct because we have only these four IDs like here, Abhishek, then we got Prashant, then we got Karthik, and then we got Tarun. 
so it is returning the correct uh, data okay so mainly in this session we discuss about two things firstly if you want to start your uh, data reading from any particular id then you can directly use that key value here to set the pointer okay and if you want to read any specific uh, re if you want to extract the data for a specific uh, id then you can use read equals means read e okay and also make sure that you are using read e and key value in both places inside the loop as well as outside the loop because here we will read only the first record but uh, to read the multiple records we have to run this loop and inside that loop we will again use this read e with key value and mppf okay and like whatever the operation we are doing we are doing on key value so in this pf structure you can see that uh, we have this emp id is key value that's why we are able to read the data on the basis of key so these are the needed thing like if you are creating any pf so then there should be one uh, key field and on the basis of that key field you can directly fetch out the data yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching tech channel